Famcast Media. Bitch. Controversy in the Bedford now, where after a local business is shut down, inspectors found roosters, chickens, and pigeons in the basement of a barber shop. And uh, now they're looking at the questions of animal cruelty and religious sacrifice. The owner disputes those claims, but the shop remains shut down tonight. NBC 10's Katie Davis spoke with a man and with city leaders. She's live in New Bedford now with the story. Katie. Well, Gene, this is a story a lot of people are talking about tonight. We talked with that barber. He says, yes, he does practice his religion in the basement of his barber shop here in New Bedford, but he denies he ever killed any animals in that basement. Either way, though, city inspectors found several other reasons to shut the shop down. At first, they thought it was a pack of savage dogs, but when they looked closer, they knew it was humans. Some of them had their eyes torn out or gouged out and they were walking around in the yards. So they were obviously suffering. Like, like you're holding the animal out like on an imaginary altar if you haven't got an altar. That is. The man who did it, John Charles Birdo. You puncture the heart, make a sign, slit the throat and whatnot. And goes on from there. William Camacho gave NBC10 a tour of his barber shop in New Bedford, including the basement where he practices his religion, Pio Mayo. Well, it's very insulting to me because what happens is that where I come from is very known. And this town, it's uh, ignorant for them because they don't know what, what type of religion it is. The religion includes animal sacrifice, but Camacho denies any animals were killed at the barber shop. Where were the sheep? In the furthest paddock uh, over there. Mm. Uh, we walked into the middle of them. He hasn't been back to the sheep yard since the night of the massacre. I lit a few candles and uh, drew up a rough, rough circle uh, and dropped some symbols on the ground. Before, uh, this is how Birdo prepared for his sacrifice with a ceremonial this, circle. The circle is a protection. He believed that inside it, he couldn't be harmed. His protector that night was the devil himself. It was like a father to me. It was like a security. It was like a bond. Even though the devil is, you must have known evil. Yeah, yeah. He was still good. As strange, as strange as it may seem, but like he's there, but he's bad and he's evil and everything else. But he was still good. Did you love the devil? At the time, I did, yeah. The religion includes animal sacrifice, but Camacho denies any animals were killed at the barber shop. And were you sacrificing them here? No, no. We do sacrifice them, but not here. City inspectors shut the business down after they found roosters, chickens, and pigeons in the basement in what they say were filthy conditions. Having livestock inside a business violates health codes. There was fecal matter all over the floor. Uh, the conditions uh, that suggested that the uh, that there was slaughtering of animals, um, maybe not at that particular time, but had been. Even if no animals were killed, Camacho may still face cruelty charges because one of the roosters was found dead inside a sealed cardboard box. Budo's first sacrifice was a chicken, an experience he describes as the most powerful in his life. I felt beautiful. I felt on top of the world. I felt, you know, I just felt brilliant. What did you do? Slit its throat, drained its blood into the chalice, and um, went on from there. But and Drank the blood? A portion. A portion. What, what animals did you kill? Um, everything from hens to uh, kittens to, um, to cats to, in the end, sheep. Camacho believes he has a right to follow his faith and says he'll fight a legal battle if it comes to that. I'm going to take it all the way to Superior. All the way, believe that I am, because they are violating my amendment rights. 
And in other cases in states, including Florida and Texas, courts have upheld that people who practice religions involving animal sacrifice can, in fact, kill animals if it is for religious reasons. Of course, this case is far from that point right now. The barbershop will probably be able to reopen if the owner can show that he has the basement professionally cleaned and that there are no more animals inside the business. Live in New Bedford, Katie Davis, NBC 10 News. Good evening, demons and demonesses. This is going to be a new type of video. Um, it's a video where I discuss Satanism and what it is that I believe. Now, just recently, um, a young woman had spoke to me uh, in a comment thread, and one of the things that they said they asked me was, um, was, was I a Satanist? And they had many questions um, that they had to ask. And I figured, you know what? You know, since most people are unaware of the Church of Satan's FAQ section, and some, you know, purposely avoid it because they don't want to have the Church of Satan information in their browser history, which is kind of understandable. I figure, you know what, I just make it easier. And just make a few quick videos explaining what exactly I am and what I do and what we believe. Now, the question that many people have asked me, and this is on several different forums, is do Satanists sacrifice animals? And the answer to that question is, no. No, no, no. We would never do such a thing. In fact, most Satanists actually love animals. Uh, Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan, LaVey and Satanism to be exact, um, he owned quite a few pets. Um, he, has, he owned a cat. Um, he also owned a snake. Um, I'm not sure if he owned any other types of pets. But put that aside, let's look at what the Satanic Bible has to say about animals. The Satanic Bible reads, Under no circumstances would a Satanist sacrifice any animal or baby. The centuries propagandists of the right hand path have been prattling over the supposed sacrifices of small children and voluptuous maidens at the hands of diabolists. It would be thought that anyone reading or hearing of these heinous accounts would immediately question their authenticity, taking into consideration the biased sources of the stories. On the contrary, as with all holy lies, which are accepted without reservation, this assumed modus operandi of the Satanists persists to this day. There are sound and logical reasons why the Satanists would not perform such sacrifices. Man, the animal, is the godhead to the Satanists. The purest form of carnal existence reposes in the bodies of animals and human children who have not grown old enough to deny themselves their natural desires. They can perceive things that the average adult human can never hope to. Therefore, the Satanist holds these beings in a sacred regard, knowing he can learn much from these natural magicians of the world. And that's just the Satanic Bible. You know, other Satanic organizations, such as uh, the Satanic Temple and the United Aspect of Satanism, also adhere by that rule. In fact, the priest, Damien Bale, of the United Aspects of Satan, is known to be a father of several cats and kittens. Marilyn Manson, who is a celebrity Satanist and possibly one of the most well-known Satanists, apart from King Diamond, um, he also uh, owns a pet kitten, and he's known to feed, you know, tigers. You know, Marilyn Manson loves animals. In fact, all Satanists love animals. Let me introduce you to my daughter. All right, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see her in the background of the camera. I, uh, well, let me focus it. This is my daughter, my spoiled, rotten daughter. Um, <laughs> Would you believe she'll be 11 in August? Yep, I've had her for 11 years and she still looks and pretty much acts like a puppy. You know, this is a loving home, I'm a loving father, and come to think of it, let me give her the microphone and let her speak for you herself. Hey, Shao, come over here. Come on, come on. Mom. I know she's a little shy at the moment. Um, she usually has a lot to say. 
Yeah, she's the baby. My one and only at the time. You want a cookie? No, you want the biscuit. Yeah, come to think of it, she's possibly one of the most spoiled people in this house. Um, she pretty much has her own bedroom, her own bed. Um, I cook her own food, um, try to give her, you know, some fresh vegetables, uh, steamed if I can, sometimes raw. Um, she only drinks... <laughs> she is like a total diva, like, she only drinks bottled water, like, I can't give her water out of the faucet, because otherwise she won't drink it. And she, she knows, she like, literally knows the difference between bottled water and, um, faucet water. And also another thing, she only drinks the water if it's cold, like, she won't drink anything warm. I think she's turning her face away because of the lighting. Um, yeah, she can't handle really much the lighting. I got, like, four lights. I got the light from my 4K camera up there, and I forgot to tell you guys, I got a new 4K camera. I got a light over here, I got another light over there. And as you guys can probably tell, I got, like, a thing for pugs. Um, I, I love pugs. I I remember the first time watching Men in Black, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that dog is so so cute. And that's what everyone says about her. Uh, she's half pug and half beagle. 100% uh, cute though, and 100% spoiled. I got this one right over here. Another pug. Want another? You want another biscuit? Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Now think about it for a second and ask yourself this honest question. If you had an animal that was this cute and this lovable, would you sacrifice it? No. She's pra practically like a spitting image of me. I practically, when I go to town and I introduce her to people, I always refer to her as my daughter. Which is exactly what she is. She's like a little baby, like a little person, you know? But you don't have to take my word for it exactly. You can always just read it yourself. Um, here's the Satanic Bible right here. Um, it's available on pretty much all platforms, even Audible. And um, if you have any other question uh, to be asked, nine times out of ten it probably will be found on the Church of Satan website under their FAQ section. And I'll post a link for that down below here in the description. Or, you know, if you're too afraid to, you know, check out the website, you know, you don't have to be afraid and ask me. I mean, my page is always open and I'm, and I'm ready and willing to answer whatever question anyone has to ask. And just because I practice Satanism doesn't mean you have to be afraid of me. I'm not going to treat anyone any different. I'm going to treat you with the same respect that you've shown me. Oh, bloody hell, my light went <laughs> Just my fucking luck. But anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I'm going to get baby girl some ice cream. Oh, she heard that. Look at her face. Look, seriously, look at her face. She, she knows exactly what ice cream is. Yep, her, her ear's perking up. Alright, I'm going to go get her some ice cream. You guys stay safe, stay metal, hail Satan, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. So the moral of today's story is don't believe everything that you read off the internet. Always go to the original source. And also be even more skeptical, especially if it comes from a religiously biased website, such as a Christianity website or a Christian blog or one of these crazy Illuminati conspiracy theorists or Alex Jones or whatnot. Because 90% of the stuff that they say is completely and utterly untrue. And almost everybody that they bring in as an ex-Satanist or something either believed in some sort of indigenous religion or a completely different religion altogether you know i've even seen people interview people who practiced santeria and then they try to claim that santeria is the same thing as satanism which are two completely different things one is like like i said one's a pagan religion the uh satanism on the other hand is atheistic and is more philosophical so always be skeptical about what you read on the internet and 
like I said, I love my animals. My kids have four paws and a tail. And I would never, ever in my life think about hurting any of them.